how Flint, Michigan Mayor Karen Weaver will find out if she will continue to be the leader of the city still dealing with a devastating water crisis. 17 other people are challenging Weaver in a recall election. The recall effort against Weaver stems from her, her support for a trash contract with Rizzo Environmental Services that was eventually linked to a federal corruption probe. And just last week, a federal judge denied Michigan's request to let Weaver sign a 30-year water contract. The Flint City Council has fought against the deal with the Great Lakes Water Authority and held a tense meeting opposing the deal. The judge says he will consider the state's request after the results of the recall election. A hearing is scheduled for November 13th. Uh, real quick to our panel, um, again, the test <clears throat> for Democrats and black turnout will be tomorrow in Virginia, tomorrow in New Jersey, obviously in these local races as well. And what I keep saying to Democrats, if y'all, if they keep waiting till July and August and September before the election, you're making a mistake. You better have a game plan now, cultivating, building, mobilizing, organizing in anticipation of the primaries and the general election. Real quick. Hot take for tomorrow. I think you see Gillespie, go uh, Governor Gillespie, Lieutenant Governor uh, Fairfax. Uh, I think they're miss missing the boat when they bring uh, like the Congressional Black Caucus, former Congressional Black Caucus leader to Virginia. You need local validators to validate your campaign. They've already made missteps with that community, and I think they need to do a better job there. Amen. It's very simple. <laughs> it's very simple. I mean, uh, just like in basketball, to say ball don't lie. If Democrats think they're going to win anything, they better understand core constituencies. The key is turning those people out. If I'm if I'm a Democrat running, I'm telling you right now, I'm understanding black people and black women. More importantly, a top black Republican told me point blank in the presence of Ryan's Pete Priebus, then chair and others, nobody hates us more than black women. <laughs> Hello, Democratic Party. So if y'all keep trying to mess with the black women in your party. That ain't a good cho choice. That's called a recipe for disaster. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. No. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.